Welcome to another episode of Scope. I'm Jemima Sukbat. In the previous episode, we focused entirely on Enga province and the number of activities and projects that took place there. For this episode, we will go all the way to the land of the rising sun, also known as Sun Kamap. With change on the horizon, the autonomous region of Bougainville is intent on being an independent and secure island region. An air of anticipation will greet you as you step on Bougainville soil for the first time. The idyllic autonomous region of Bougainville, once plagued by years of conflict, has gradually embraced peace and is looking forward to a new political future. It took many years for their wounds to heal from the decade-long conflict that shattered an otherwise picturesque and peaceful chain of islands 959 kilometers northwest of the nation's capital. Negotiations and peace reconciliation ceremonies set the pace for the clear objective of self-rule, which was cemented by 176,928 votes for independence. This was out of 181,067 voters in November 2019. Only 3,043 votes, or 1.68%, were cast in favor of greater autonomy, while no petitions against the result were lodged during the designated period. The referendum fulfilled the promise of the Bougainville Peace Agreement, signed between Bougainville leaders and the PNG government almost 20 years ago. The peace agreement was the instrument that ended the deeply divisive conflict that claimed the lives of approximately 20,000 people or about 10% of Bougainville's population. Former commander of the combatants and current president, Ishmael Torowama, was one of the signatories to the BPA. During his presidential campaign, he painted a picture of struggle and division as members of the Bougainville Revolutionary Army debated amongst themselves the best outcome for their region. Torowama said in 1995, whilst fighting was rife, they discussed with their two late leaders, Francis Ona and Joseph Kabui, ways to get independence. Kabui even told them, we play, you need long talk talk one time government lo papa nigini you may need long pine him road long come up in belly seal of bougainville francis ona and me talk all sam boy me must win him lo fight na you may must kiss him independence lo fight this like me one play big play meeting blow me play lo biare na after lo this like meeting me play come up one time one play resolution this like resolution and me talk talk long me play split him, namel, me play all fight man. Me been sana backside long Joseph Kabui, long support him, em, long pain him, new play road, long come up in Belize. Moses Pipiro, and me been sana backside long Francis Sona. The then presidential candidate said this is why today you will see many people refer to themselves as Mayor Kamui. However, he explained that the main reason behind the split was to find the best suitable approach to get independence. The parties went as far as the Burnham Declaration, beget by the Burnham military camp in mid-1997 in New Zealand. So, Ananit this the Burnham Declaration. Gerard Senato even talked to me plan on up long sign him this the Burnham Declaration in up. You play he talk all right long this la five la calabus na me play by signing this la agreement. In sign on this la agreement, same corner in on up long make him this la decision. So only pain me, long walk him this in. So this in me walk him before me give him talk all right long make him this la decision, me even ask him, Kabu you all same, you confident enough long. But you me pain him, but you me kiss him independence, na pain him barely see and anit long this la agreement. Kabui look look long me and me talk all them. Suppose you me walk one time, but you me come up in independence. So me give him all talk all right. Number two, half long end, me black come long win. Me talk talk one time, Thomas Tari, one time, 
Kony Solomon. Tai mi tok tok lok tupla tupla bin pasim bis la fai pla ol karabusman. Oli bin kisi mo lok kangu. But mi missing out him Kony Le Solomon na mi tok him em. Nara pla fai tu we em by come up. By you to block go pass long. Me ba me walk about start the wind. He go down long. Kieta. Me even give him leg leg time long all in a poly talk talk. Now time two plus Thomas Tari. He talk all right now. This is the Benham declaration. And me come up. But I don't need long this level. New plus approach long. Pine him. Belly see the Bougainville. Long side long me plus fight man. Same Kawana even go school long New Zealand. So me plus been walk him hand over. Long this level. Na time mi go mi mi look out him this la leadership long mi proud fight man one time way long talk talk long come up him this la peace him as karim kai kai inside long this la bogunel peace agreement today you na pro look him or triple pillar side long old musket side long referendum na good governance ana need long this la triple pillar even got this la program long musket. Mi plan go long Nissan. Na mi play talk talk long musket. As soon as mi even come up in this agreement, na mi plan will sign him this la Nihan resolution. Plant your fight man even lose mi plan. Na even go back long join him on. Reason him simple. Only he no even like losing musket. That's all. Mi even talk talk one time all sample or nara plan boys blow you me. Na mi even talk him all all same. You no can worry long him. All get a political time where you me you walk long behind him. You know got one plan man or this will get on in up or dictate him or political time frame. Environment is a send is lot time long in. Na season long in. You got time or all by coming sell a vote by you me. Time by you me go vote long independence. But anta plo this la me like talk seven long. This la three pla areas which me plow or fight money make him. Now today you not long look him. New plus senis he come inside throughout the Bougainville. Time me plan been walking stage one long all musket. Me plan bung him one time. All army been lose him. All the areas where all been come up him all camp long all now he go down the lolo hole. Now time me plan walk him number two half long this la musket. Me plan contain him all put him all one time. All army been lose him lolo hole he go down long central location lo buka. That's all. Before me play walk him number three, or time me play stop inside the process, belong walk him this la number three long. Bagara pe mol musket. National government he must amend him mama law belong in long allow him. Bougainville he must go through long this la vote or referendum. Today me like talk sabi long you me or Bougainvilleans. You know got one play leader man today. He me amend him part fourteen long national constitution. Lo allow him Bougainville by go through long this la separate independence. Musket he walking, so me like talk all same. Musket even got power, long fight, long freedom, na rights for all people of Bougainville. Long this la time me play walking weapons disposal, long part three. This la musket time Emmy go inside long last pla half long end time me play walk long bagarap him. Emmy make him national government. Emmy amend him part fourteen long allow him Bougainville by must go through long. This la separate independence vote long referendum which you even come up him ninety eight point two percent. Last blah hap when musket even walking, um, time UN me verify or compliance blow musket. Even got this la incident long Morgan Junction. Plenty of line is a looking all same. Me pla even come up in this la heavy. That's all. All UN even talk sabel on me all same. Me pla no be nap long verify all musket because connects blow torokina only broke him. So me even go talk talk one time Moses Pipiro na. Chris Suma, time me talk talk lo two pla even got three pla day where me waiting two pla two pla no even come. So long last pla day me even talk sale all boys long Morgan Sangsi no same. Em tomorrow by me come. So time me even go lo tomorrow me pla even walk him legally fight. Enough me pla kiss him one pla man even die. Enough me pla kiss him this all musket me even go bring him long possess him long all UN. Now UN him talk him no same. Now by me verify more compliance law musket. Now time me even verify more compliance law musket. Establishment or autonomous Bougainville government, Emmy come up. Now me like talk to a lot of people of Bougainville also. You know one plan leader man, Emmy make him this la na autonomous Bougainville government ikerap. Emmy musket Emmy walking. 
Toroama, who played a critical role in peace building, contested the elections a number of times before finally winning the presidential seat on September 23rd after the 23rd elimination. His government of the 4th House of Representatives includes a large number of new and young MPs who want the same thing that he wants, a better Bougainville. After the break, we will talk about the peace instrument that laid the foundations for a better and secure Bougainville. Welcome back. Bougainville has come a long way. With a majority of former combatants laying down their arms, the autonomous region took a leap forward in achieving its dream. The Bougainville Peace Agreement, or BPA, a joint creation of the PNG government and Bougainville leaders, was an instrument that laid the foundations for a better and secure Bougainville. Heralded as a world-class peace document, the 2001 agreement was synonymous with the phrase, peace by peaceful means. It provides a roadmap for all parties based on three pillars, autonomy, weapons disposal, and a referendum on Bougainville's political status. All three checklists have been ticked. The most recent one was the inclusive and peaceful referendum, which was held in November 2019, where over 97% of people voted for independence. Administered by the Bougainville Referendum Commission, under the leadership of Che and former Prime Minister of Ireland, Bertie Ayrn, 20 provinces in Papua New Guinea and Bougainvillians in Australia and the Solomon Islands were given the chance to have a say in their political future. Postal voting was also included in the historical event that aimed to be free, fair and inclusive. Polling was established from the 23rd of November until the 7th of December. On Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019, the tireless efforts of nearly 1,500 polling officials were acknowledged as regular polling for Bougainvillians, came to an end across a record 829 locations in three countries. Regular polling ended on the day at 6 p.m. while the submission of postal votes continued to Saturday, December 7, 6 p.m. During that time, Chief Referendum Officer Mauricio Claudio said the referendum had been blessed with well-trained, diligent, thorough and hard-working polling officials who all play their part in the conduct of the historical Bougainville referendum. After the referendum, the BRC presented their final report to the government and parliament of Papua New Guinea on June 4, 2020. Ayrn said the peaceful vote signaled the end of the just and latest step in the long-standing Bougainville-Papua New Guinea peace process. To the people of Bougainville, Ayrn said while that past has been a difficult one, the result was an expression of hope for the future and an honoring of those who were lost in the conflict. The referendum results mean more work for Bougainville and it may take years for the outcome. That Bougainvillians must be united to see this through, adding there should not be any more killings or shots fired. His sentiments were embraced by a majority of Bougainvillians, including newly elected President Ishmael Toroama. The former combatant and peace advocate was declared president-elect on September 23rd after the 23rd elimination. Being a former commander of the Bougainville Revolutionary Army, a signatory to the Bougainville Peace Agreement and a driving force behind the weapons disposal pillar under the agreement, the new president did not waste time in making his stance known following his swearing-in ceremony on Friday, the 25th of September. The fourth ABG president underlined the need for unity for a safer and secure Bougainville. He specifically called out to the people of Konu and Tonu in South Bougainville. Just like a, a liquid haven with semi-walk-long breeding 
uh, a challenge for the gov government of Borneo. So, uh, got all uh, respected or uh, respected line staff. Uh, me like just place him talk talk ego long all. Na all uh, supporters long all staff lo puka lo solos. Even staff lo central team push all that lo Borneo. That me like you me work on that. Time long differentiate him uh, or put him block name long me play and finish. I think every time you may come back, now you may get up in Bougainville. I mean, we have fought. We have made peace. Now you may stand up in government. Together, we can still make a difference inside Long Tai Yumi work one time. We talk, talk, fight, you go number out, and long me, we look at most of It's childish. We are more mature. Even the leadership of Bougainville is, has become more mature. The president emphasized that only through working together can Bougainvilleans enjoy peace. We will go for a break. When we return, we will have a look at the fourth House of Representatives. Welcome back to SCOPE. The president of the autonomous region of Bougainville, Ishmael Torowama, recently announced the full cabinet of the Bougainville Executive Council. Among the 14 members are two women, 30-year-old Theonila Matbob of the Loro constituency and the member for Central Bougainville Women, Yolanda Paul. The full Bougainville cabinet was announced on the 2nd of October. President Ishmael Torowama said he has appointed two female members to the cabinet to ensure there is recognition of the dynamic role that women have in Bougainville society. He expressed his confidence that these two women leaders will perform exceptionally in their new roles as key ministers in this government. This is just one of the many changes that are aimed at setting Bougainville on the path to a harmonious, peaceful and stable region. Further, the president has retained key ministers who were instrumental in the Momis Masono government, such as Atoll's MP and former Vice President Raymond Masono, member for Ramu constituency Thomas Pakatu, Tonsi MP Izikel Masat and Hagogo constituency MP Robert Amal Sawa. He has done this to ensure balance and more importantly, the caliber and experience of these ministers will be valued for nurturing the younger leaders they have in the fourth house. Alluding to his maiden inaugural speech, the president outlined that his government intends to help their young and upcoming population to fully realize their potential. This also applies to the young leaders. As president, he believes that by promoting their young talent in all aspects, they collectively help to create a vibrant and energetic environment for them to be more innovative and fully grow to realize their potential. In terms of administration of the region, the new president has already been in briefings to familiarize himself with protocol and processes. From there, he will have a clear perspective on how to chart his course. When speaking to this newsroom, Torawama said first and foremost, his government will address law and order issues. Inside of Bougainville and even inside of the legislation, we from a straight before. before. Um, Mipla, he can fully uh, function in uh, leadership of Mipla one term administration. But like him administration, he must aware long of sense Mipla like come up in. So, big Mipla thinking him, um, preparation is so long, ongoing consultation one term national government and long of service delivery, and like improving one something and stuff. I mean, I'm not making overnight sense, that's all. We need long, legally clear long, Areas which you may end up improving so that all people bring you me throughout the constituency, community government, they can feel the effect of their government. And while he is aware of the deep rooted corruption within the public service, Torowama says their first step would be to conduct an audit. Um, I think thing long, directly more line long, you plan working audit past uh, in terms of. Uh, all departments, let me try looking. 
let him uh, audit and he can clear him whether it is true or not true. So I let him slow walk by go past them and then they will advise me and we can direct him online, go look him on the fraud squad, all well, by taking this responsibility, long take him up, uh, long fully maintain him, transparency and accountability in silo. This is the fourth house of representative. Meantime, he will be calling a review of performance of all his cabinet ministers after 18 months in office. And that is all for this episode of Scope. Thanks for staying with us. You can join us same time next week for another in-depth coverage of trending events. Have a great week.